Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about stroboscopic flash, what it is and how you can use it. Uh, stroboscopic flash just means basically shooting photos with a strobe light. In this case, it would be a flash you're using as a strobe light. Uh, you'll need a few things for this to work. You'll need a flash, obviously. You'll need a way to remotely fire the flash. In this case, we have the Canon Speedlight Transmitter STE2, but whatever remote flash firing mechanism you have should work just fine. And you want a way to remotely fire the camera. And we have this little Vivitar remote trigger, which works fine. And then you want a black background, such as this. And you want to wear black, preferably, like a black shirt. Um, you're trying to expose just the object in your image. You don't want any distracting objects in the background, so black shirt, black background works best. And next, I'll show you how this all works together. It's actually pretty easy but the menu settings can be really confusing. So I'll walk through that next. So here's how you do it. On the Canon flash, what you're gonna do is hold the mode button down. All right, it'll blink, hit it again. Now it says multi. Okay, that means stroboscopic mode. So what you're gonna wanna do here is hit the center button and you'll see it bounces around to different settings. And these settings are really confusing. Um, there's a hertz setting, there's another number here, there's a 132nd number, but actually they're pretty straightforward. Hertz is uh, actually how many times this flashes per second. If you change this to six or seven or eight or nine or 10, that's 10 flashes per second. You could even test it, see how fast it goes. So let's change this back to five. So it'd be five flashes per second and you'll see how much slower it goes, okay? This number is how many flashes total. So when you hit your shutter release and this thing fires, it's gonna fire 10 flashes total, five per second, okay? And this is your flash power. So we're at 132nd power, you can go to 160, or 116th, 164, 128th. So that just controls the power of the flash. And this is important because you can use f-stops to control your exposure, but you can't really use your shutter speed so much because your shutter speed needs to stay open in order to get these images. So you're more going to use your f-stops and your flash power. So I'll be shooting today around 5.6. So in order to determine shutter speed, what you need to do is figure out you're doing five flashes per second, 10 flashes total. So you would just divide the total amount of flashes by the flashes per second. So your shutter speed in this case would be two seconds. Okay, so the last step obviously is taking the picture. So in the shot I'm doing, I'm actually gonna just, just gonna take my arm and wave it like this. So you get multiple arms in one shot. So I've put a piece of tape on the, the floor marking where I should put my arm. And I'm gonna tell the camera to focus in that area. I'm using my remote trigger. So I'll just put my arm above that piece of tape. And there we go. It beeps saying it's focused. And now what I'll do actually is go over here and put the camera in manual focus. So we kind of lock that focus in. Okay. And we'll turn the lights off and take the shot. All right, so the last step is to take the shot. So uh, I do recommend not looking at the flash while you take the shot. So uh, here we go. And let's take a look. All right, so that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, the menu controls can be confusing, but once you get used to them, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, I hope this helped you guys.